Hey, what's up guys? AI artwork, AI artwork. Everybody is talking about it. Well, in this video, we are not going to talk about an AI artwork, but we are going to bring an AI artwork live by doing a screen print on a t-shirt. So it's going to be a highly detailed and, uh, and it will require some skills to print this artwork. So we'll see how this things goes, right? So let's get started. All right, so this is the design that we're going to print. And I have already done all the editing, all the color corrections, and also I have already done the color separations. So we are going to use eight colors to achieve this design. So number one is the, number one is the gray here. And then we have the light gray. We will have the white, and then we will have the red and then we will have the yellow we'll have cyan we'll have blue and finally we will have the magenta or the pink the the bright pink to to finish off the neon pink right so let's see the next step okay to so uh in order to achieve this amazing print you need a couple of things the basic things right number one is the design of course you need to have a very high quality design and number two is you need to have this film positives so you can see it's a big one so it will get a very big print so you need to have this film positive as dark as possible so i'm not using any rip software i'm using the old traditional photoshop to have this printed on the film and after that you need to do your washouts and if you have all these things correctly done all the color separations then you know the washing part the exposing part becomes easier and of course the print part also becomes easier right so this is done and then we need inks we need a very soft inks for this we are going to use plastisol ink this is one of our product actually so uh we're going to accomplish this by using a very soft feel to a black t-shirt, you know. And this is going to be a very, uh, a lot of inks that we're going to print. Like we're going to use eight colors to achieve this print. And we don't want the print on the t-shirt to feel very thick, right? So, uh, so, so we want it very soft feel. So that's why we are using a very premium quality ink. So wherever you are and whatever you purchase, do not compromise on the ink. This will save you and the job and also your, your you know, your prestige, you can say, for to, towards your client. So I highly recommend to use a very premium quality plastisol ink or if not water-based ink. Don't use as cheap ones, right? So for the first color, we are going to use the dark gray and we're going to coat two times for the dark gray so we'll flood the screen and in one stroke we will try to finish all these things okay now okay. all right as you can see the details are already popping in but we want a very vibrant print to our t-shirt so that's why we're going to coat second uh, uh second coat for the for the dark gray so we have our first layer so we'll quickly dry this up now a lot of you must be asking you know we can achieve this by using just once on the base but since this is a very realistic image we want our basics <coughs> our under base to be just perfect so that we can hit the rest of the colors with just single colors so we were not able to get this on just the under base so that's why we need to create dark gray light and then the white so again just one stroke with all your pressure
We'll quickly try this up. Okay, so we have our our the first coat for the first color, the gray, with two coats. And now and now we're going to use the light gray to bring out more details to the design. So we'll flood the screen. And with all your pressure, you try to you try to pass it only one time. So you can see that all the details are starting to come out right now. It's so nice. All the fine details are coming out. You can see, you know, and this we could not have achieved by using only one uh, single under base. And even though we try to do it like two, three times of codes, it will still not have come out. So because of this, we have reduced the ink consumption to the entire t-shirt. This will make it feel of the t-shirt quite, uh, you know, soft and you won't feel like you know there's a big chunk of ink in your t-shirts so that is our main priority apart from being a very well printed t-shirt i'll quickly dry this so now we'll do the white highlight okay so we are going to use white highlight flood the screen and make sure with all your pressure you you know in just a one stroke okay I think there is some more inks in the stencil because the half tones are so tiny if you find that you know do it a second stroke right so for this I'm going to do but without the ink Okay, so now you can see that, you know, all the details have come out so perfectly. You can see, you know, all these details. This is this is only possible because, you know, if you use the right frame film, uh, you know, you did your color separations and, you know, you use the right film and, you know, uh, you are, your off contact from the t-shirt to the frame is perfectly balanced and you are stroking, you know, even the stroke of the t-shirt is quite important. So that is why you can see all these details. I think if we if we would have used only a single, uh, you know, the white base, it would not have been possible to achieve all these details. And this is just a black and white right now at this moment. And I think I'm already loving this. A lot of people would just print this way and leave it to that. But since we're going to print this, you know, uh, to high quality print, we're going to use all the colors. So three down and we have five more. Perfect. I'll just quickly dry this. All right. So the next color is red and we're going to only do only one time. Okay, so with all your pressure, try to push it. Okay, I think there's still a little bit left, so I'll try to push it one more time, but without the ink. Wow, as you can see, you know, all the details, you see the effects that is that have already created. So this is looking quite good. This is looking awesome. All right. Wow. So I'll quickly dry first and let's see the details. So yeah, so let's go and hit the next color, which is yellow. Again, with all your pressure, try to go it one time. If not then, just clear the inks. One, 
and clear the inks. Awesome. Yeah. So you see all the details after, you know, the yellow is uh, added. You can see the, 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 the details in the face part and in all the flower parts, how this is coming to life, right? It's subtle, but you know, it's just like the artwork. So, so yeah, so you can see all the details. Okay, so let me go and quickly dry this up. Okay, so the next color is cyan. Again, same thing, you know, put a lot of pressure. So you can see, we have all the details that we needed. It's com coming out properly. And uh, we'll quickly dry this up again. So you can see how detailed the artwork have turned out to be up till now. And once again, I would like to emphasize this because this is the highly, uh, highly, highly detailed artwork with a lot of details in the features. You know, we needed to have those, uh, the colors right, right? So we had some custom colors, example, the dark gray, the light gray, and even this, the cyan color. So, so we had to uh, match the artwork. So we did some custom colors for this. Okay, so right now we'll go and print the, the, the second last color, which is blue. And we see how the overall picture will turn out. Okay, again, with all the pressure, try to push it. One and two. Okay, so you can see with the blue color added, you have this detail in the eyes and also, you know, on the overall other parts of the design as well. So. This picture is really turning out to be good. It's opaque, it's opaqueness, it's brightness. You know, the realism to the picture is doing justice so far. So I'll dry this up. Okay, so far so good. We have a final color right now. So let's go and print the magenta. Well, actually this is not really magenta. This is a bright pink, a neon pink. So we wanted to have that bright brightness, overall brightness to the design. And of course the design is like that. So we had to use this color. So again, let's go one and push it one more. That's it. There you go. As you can see here, the overall t-shirt quality, you can see the print. Uh, you know, I don't want to say much, but I will all leave it to you all. Just comment what you what you are looking. I mean, what do you think about this picture and the overall result, you know? And I think this is a very high quality t-shirt. Uh, with water base, uh, sorry, with plastisol ink, and we are able to achieve this print because of because of our our doing things right and the pre-production level, right? You see, the printing part is pretty easy. You know, uh, I know it's it might sound very difficult or it might look very difficult for for a, a beginner, but trust me, the printing part is easy. It just needs a little bit of practice. But what is difficult is the pre-production part where you do your color separations and you know where you print out all these films and then 
you expose it, you wash it out, and also using the right expo uh, right emulsions uh, for the right color, for the right ink. So those are very important factor. And at the end, we want a very well printed t-shirt, good seal to it, and also, you know, not compromising the quality. I would always recommend you guys to go and get the premium quality inks so that your print and also the feel of the print is premium. If you guys are in India, please come and join my three days offline class. We teach everything about this, not just this, right from the basic up to until like this where you will be able to print. So it's a three days offline class. People have come from all over India and also some have come from Nepal as well. So I really encourage you guys, if you are looking to pursue your career, you know, you can obviously go and come and learn with me, right? So yeah, see you and uh, have a great day. This is Ricky again. I'm from India. Bye-bye.